NFL Playbook crew here with you. Red Lewis, the Super Bowl champ, Sean O'Hara, Coach Brian Billick, getting Hi. you set for Hi, the Red. Chargers and Bills. Hello, Sean. And, uh, well, the Bills, less than a month ago, were the number three rush defense in all the NFL. Wow. That is not the case anymore <laughs> after the last two weeks. Yeah, when you're looking at this defense, uh, I mean, almost 500 yards rushing in the last two weeks alone. I think if you're the Chargers, you're saying we're going to run the rock. Yeah. Now, Phillip Rivers, you know, was in concussion protocol, should be able to play. So give that guy the rock. Let, let's let Melvin Gordon get downhill. And then to go along with Gordon, how about Austin Eckler all Bring of a sudden it. bursting onto the scene? Nice little change up here. So I think if I'm an offensive line for the Chargers, I'm saying, look, we're going to run the rock. No Marcel Darius now. We're getting a lot of good A-gap runs. And then defensively for the Chargers, you've got to love what Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram are doing. Now, Deion Dawkins started at left tackle, the rookie, for the Bills last week. But you've got a, a new quarterback in Nathan Peterman. Yeah. A rookie. So guess what? He could be back there burping the baby a little bit. And now you've got a chance to get after him. Yeah, so Tyrod Taylor was not part of that defense that gave up 298 yeah. yards on the ground. Yet he's finding himself on the bench in favor of the rookie coach. Yeah, it's been a bit of a downward spiral for Buffalo, the last, even though they're still in the playoff hunt right now. Uh, obviously, LeSean McCoy has been a non-factor. He just hasn't been able to crank it up. They haven't been able to get the running game cranked up. So naturally, obviously, Tyrod Taylor has had to do more, has not been bad necessarily. He just has not been uh, made enough big plays down the field. So you give up over 200 yards or close to 200 yards rushing two weeks ago, almost 300 yards rushing last week. So what are you going to do? Change the quarterback. Right. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go. And yeah, you got to give the kid credit. He came in and he, he made some plays. It was kind of in garbage time. Uh, so you, you, it's hard to quantify. It's hard for me to think about what they're doing in Buffalo right now because you're still in the playoff hunt. I know we got a lot of games left. I know you got to play New England twice. So there's a lot left. But to make, when you change at the quarterback position, that's the that's the most dramatic thing you can do to an organization. And the hard thing now is how do you go back if the young man come in, comes in, Peterman doesn't play well. Let's yeah. say he gets hurt. Right now, here we're yeah we're in the playoff bubble, guys. Oh yeah, we'll go back to the other we guy. We didn't want you before. We need you. Now. This is yeah. this is uh, there's a lot behind the story here that we don't know about to make this kind of dramatic change on a team that's currently in, what, the sixth position for the playoffs? Right. And, and, what, and what's interesting, too, about it is this could affect the run game. Because Tyrod Taylor runs the read option. Yeah. We're not running the read option with Peterman. Right. I'm sorry. And when you look at that, that game last week, there were two plays in the first drive of the game that were read options, speed options and misdirection plays. So having Peterman could help the passing game, it could hurt the run game. Yeah. Well, and the last time, I actually went and hung out with the research folks for a little bit to think about the last time a team currently in the playoff picture made a switch at quarterback that wasn't injury related, like this late in the season. 06 Broncos uh, bench Jake Plummer in favor of Jake Cutler. Uh, but the Bills fans are pretty familiar with this, too. You go back to Flutie getting pulled right. by Wade Phillips <laughs> right. in favor of Rob Johnson ahead of the playoff opener. So that was even later in the season. How anyway, long, How long did you his, spend with those history guys? History on while. your yeah, side. A little yeah. while. Uh, Chargers and Bills uh, from L.A. And that uh, is an afternoon kick for you. We see you every Wednesday. Bring your playbook at 6 Eastern.